You probably picture giraffes as gentle giants, peacefully munching on leaves across the African savanna. But what if I told you that behind that serene image lies a hidden world of bizarre rituals and brutal, bone-jarring combat? To continue their family line, male giraffes don't engage in peaceful courtship. Instead, they have to pass a strange taste test and then, potentially, fight for their lives. Over the next few minutes, we're going to uncover how the world's tallest animals find a partner. And it's far stranger, more complex, and more violent than you've likely ever imagined. For most animals, the search for a mate is a complex dance. For a male giraffe, it's a high-stakes mission that starts with something truly shocking. He has to taste his partner's urine. This isn't just a weird quirk, it's a critical step in one of nature's most mysterious mating rituals. And after that strange chemical analysis, things can get even darker. We're talking about a visceral, violent clash where necks are swung like medieval weapons, and a single blow can be the difference between mating and misery. The placid image of the giraffe is about to be completely shattered. For a male giraffe, or bull, the first hurdle is simply getting information. Female giraffes, or cows, don't advertise when they're fertile. There are no flashy displays or special mating calls to signal that they're ready. This is a big problem for a wandering bull who needs to save his energy and avoid wasting time on a female who can't conceive. So, how does he solve this puzzle? The answer is both bizarre and incredibly efficient. He has to get her to urinate. A bull will approach a cow and gently nudge her backside, sometimes giving a little kick, basically asking for a urine sample. If she's cooperative, she widen her stance and pee for a few seconds. And this is the moment of truth. The male can't just sniff it from the ground bending that far down is awkward and leaves him vulnerable. Instead, he positions his head directly in the stream, catching the liquid in his mouth. What happens next is a strange facial expression called the Fleming response. The bull curls back his upper lip, bares his teeth, and inhales. It looks like a grimace, but it serves a vital biological purpose. This action sends the urine and its pheromones up to a special sensory organ on the roof of his mouth called the vomeronasal organ. In giraffes, this organ is uniquely connected more to the mouth than the nose, an adaptation built specifically for this kind of chemical courtship. In simple terms, it's a highly advanced ovulation test. The organ analyzes the chemical compounds in the urine, telling the male with stunning accuracy if the female is ready to mate. If the hormones aren't right, he wastes no more time and simply moves on. This peculiar taste test is the key that unlocks the entire mating process, a chemical password that has to be confirmed before the next, far more dangerous, phase can begin. Once a fertile female is found, the competition suddenly becomes fierce. Giraffes are polygamous, so a dominant male will try to mate with as many females as he can, creating intense rivalries. And this is where the giraffe's most famous feature, its neck, transforms from an elegant tool for eating into a brutal weapon of war. The battles that follow are called necking, a name that really doesn't do justice to the violence of the encounter. These are not playful fights, they are all-out brawls for dominance and the right to pass on one's genes. To rival bulls will stand side by side, legs splayed for balance, and begin swinging their massive necks at each other. A male giraffe's head and neck can weigh over 140 kilograms, or more than 300 pounds, when swung in a huge arc, the head becomes a living sledgehammer, aimed right at the opponent's body. The sound of the impact is a sickening thud you can hear from a distance, a raw display of the power being unleashed. 
The bulls target the legs, chest, or underbelly, trying to knock their rival off his feet. A fall isn't just embarrassing, it can be a death sentence if predators like lions are watching from nearby. And they aren't just using blunt force, the whole night bumps on a giraffe's head, called ossicones, become thick, heavy, and calcified in mature males, turning them into stabbing weapons. The force of these blows can be staggering, sometimes knocking an opponent unconscious. While very rare, the power of these impacts can even lead to death. This brutal combat is the very definition of sexual selection. The males with the longest, strongest necks tend to win, earning them a higher rank and, most importantly, access to the females they fought so hard for. Some scientists even believe this necks for sex competition was the main evolutionary reason giraffes developed such long necks in the first place. The life of a male giraffe is completely different from a female's, and that difference shapes everything about how they mate. Female giraffes tend to form stable communities, creating nursery herds where mothers watch over their calves together, sharing the duty of looking out for predators. These groups are built on social bonds and long-term relationships. Male giraffes, on the other hand, lead a much more solitary, nomadic life. Once they mature around age four, young males usually leave their home herd. Some will join bachelor groups where they practice sparring. This low-intensity necking helps them train for real fights and establish an early pecking order. But as they get older, they become roving males. They wander vast territories alone, moving from one female herd to another, constantly searching for a chance to mate. This lifestyle is driven by unpredictable hormone surges. Unlike animals with a set breeding season, male giraffes have short, rut-like periods that last only a few days, tied to spikes in their androgen levels. During this time, they become laser-focused on finding receptive females. It's an energy-draining strategy, but it's perfectly suited for a world where fertile females are scattered across the landscape. The older, more dominant bulls, who have already won their fair share of necking battles, are usually the most successful. Their established dominance means they spend less time fighting and more time courting the females they've identified with that all-important urine test. After all that chemical investigation and potentially lethal combat, the actual act of mating is surprisingly quick and to the point. The victorious bull, having earned his right, will patiently follow the receptive female, sometimes for hours, until she finally stands still for him. He then mounts her from behind, and the whole thing is over in just a few seconds. There's no real foreplay or extended courtship at this stage. The earlier events the urine test and the necking duels have already answered the big questions of fertility and strength. The final act is just a functional conclusion. But this brief moment is still full of danger. With the male mounted and both giraffes distracted, they are extremely vulnerable to predators. The brevity of the act is therefore an evolutionary advantage, minimizing their exposure to danger. This fleeting moment of intimacy is a stark contrast to the immense effort and violence it took to get there. The result of these dramatic rituals is the creation of new life, which begins in a way that's just as startling as the courtship. A giraffe's pregnancy is one of the longest in the animal kingdom, lasting about 15 months. After that long wait, the birth is an incredible event. The mother giraffe gives birth while standing up, which is a crucial defense against predators since lying down would make her an easy target. This means a newborn calf starts its life with a shocking fall, dropping nearly two meters, or six feet, straight to the ground. 
This abrupt entry looks dangerous, but it actually serves a critical purpose. The impact snaps the umbilical cord, bursts the amniotic sac, and the jolt is often what kickstarts the calf's first breath. The resilience of a newborn giraffe is amazing. Within just an hour of this dramatic entrance, the calf, already standing at a towering 1.8 meters 6 feet tall, is able to get to its feet and walk. This rapid development is essential for survival, allowing it to follow its mother and escape from danger. It will drink its mother's milk for about a year, though it starts sampling plants after just a few months. From a brutal fight for conception to a breathtaking drop into life, the giraffe's reproductive cycle is a powerful testament to the incredible adaptations needed to survive in the wild. From a courtship that involves tasting urine to raw, medieval-style combat where necks become weapons, the mating rituals of the giraffe are a powerful reminder that nature is often as brutal as it is beautiful. These gentle giants lead a life filled with high-stakes drama, chemical warfare, and physical dominance, all to ensure their species survives. It all culminates in one of the most dramatic births on the planet, a six-foot plummet that sparks a new life. The world of the giraffe is full of dark, violent, and fascinating secrets, proving that even the most familiar creatures hold mysteries we're just beginning to understand. If you found these giraffe secrets as fascinating as we do, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more incredible stories from the wild heart of our planet.